Alright, so this is going to show you how to use iPhoto, Apple iPhoto, to export images and optimize them ready for web display. Um, so we've got iPhoto open here. Now this is version 8 at the moment and there's some new features in 8 that I just want to touch on briefly. Um, automatically for sending to things like Facebook, they've got a new button down here. Facebook, Flickr and email has been here for a long time but these two are fairly new. So in other words, I just want to alert you to that, is that if you want to export to Facebook, you may want to do that automatically. Uh, clicking on this, will it'll ask you to set up a Facebook uh, connection. Flickr, it'll do the same thing. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to, I'm just going to show you how to do it, uh, actually exporting to your desktop, so then you can use it for all manner of things, whether it be MySpace, uploading, or whatever. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is click down here and create a new album. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the um, photos and I can just drag across the images that I want to export across. Alright, so I've created my album here that's got the images in it that I want to export onto my desktop. Now I want to start by just selecting everything. The quickest way of doing that is to go in Command A and that'll select everything. If I want to select or deselect elements, I can just hold down the command key and select or deselect as I choose. So I've selected all the images that I want to export. Now I just go up into File, Export. Now here I want to also alert you to something is that you can export as a web page. You can actually create a web page. It'll create a HTML page. You've got a QuickTime here. You can make a little QuickTime images and you can um, create a slideshow and then over here you also got a slideshow that can be created too. Uh, for this tutorial obviously we're just exporting. So file export. Uh, we want to make sure this is JPEG here. JPEG quality, you've got a couple of different choices. The best one is medium. It's a good compromise between quality and size. And in terms of size, choosing medium will get you the maximum width will be 640 pixels, which is pretty usable. If you want to create a custom width, you can actually click on custom, and you can actually customize the height or the maximum height or the width. I just find that medium works really well, creates a 640 maximum pixels. So, all right, so JPEG, medium, medium. And we have some choices here on how to um, uh, name the files as well. Right, so I get export on my desktop. I'm just going to create a folder, select that folder, and go OK. Now iPhoto is going to optimize those images and put them under my desktop. All right, so it's done. It's finished that. Just go to my desktop, double click. We'll just have a quick look here and see what we've got. All right, here's the four images we've got. See, we've got down to 72K, 640 by 480 are the size. And those images are looking pretty good for their size, and they're all nice sizes, 88, 48, 88. So those images are now ready to be uh, uploaded to MySpace or your website or whatever you like.